practical exercises relevant to labor law. If you'll notice your bar syllabus in remedial law, there's an item there on practical exercises. One of the exercises is the drafting of a motion for execution of judgment. Now, when you become lawyers, you will likely handle a labor case in the course of your lifetime, considering the sheer number of labor problems. Of course, you will be winning cases for your client, say, an employee who was a judge to be illegally dismissed from employment. You will have to execute that decision rendered in favor of your client. Now, here's the context. Remember that it is through a writ of execution that a final and executory judgment can be enforced. When does a judgment become final and executory? If no appeal is filed with the Office of the Labor Arbiter or Regional Arbitration Branch of Origin within 10 calendar days from receipt by counsel or authorized representative or by the parties if they are not assisted by counsel or representative, then the decision or order of the Office of the Labor Arbiter shall become final and executory after the lapse of such period. Thus, it is imperative for the winning party to file a motion for the issuance of a writ of execution. The motion for execution should be filed within five years from the date the judgment becomes final and executory. Otherwise, the judgment will become dormant. Now, what do you state in your motion? Essentially, the motion should at least contain the following allegations. 1. A decision was rendered by the Office of the Labor Arbiter on a certain date. 2. The ruling, for instance, declared the illegality of an employee's dismissal from employment, as well as the awards like back wages, other damages, and attorney's fees. 3. The fact of finality of the decision, as shown by a certificate of finality. Then 4. The prayer for the issuance of a corresponding writ of execution. Now, a writ of execution will be issued when a certificate of finality is issued by the Office of the Labor Arbiter. Finally, remember that the writ of execution is effective for five years from the date of issuance of the Certificate of Finality. One final point, will a writ of execution be needed for all decisions or orders of the Office of the Labor Arbiter? Remember that the reinstatement aspect of the Office of the Labor Arbiter's decision does not require a writ of execution because the same is considered as self-executory. In other words, the employer must reinstate the employee with or without a writ of execution. What if the employer does not voluntarily comply with the reinstatement order? That's the time when the Office of the Labor Arbiter, under the rules, shall immediately issue a writ of execution.